So two nights ago, Rachel Maddow uh, teased a huge story. She uh, tweeted, We have Trump's tax returns tonight. Seriously, she put in parentheses. Seriously, I'm saying this off of memory, by the way. I don't know exactly what the wording was, but it was like, We have Trump's tax returns. Oh, what an amazingly huge story. So Twitter blew up. Um, the sound of Democratic partisans and loyalists fapping across the country could be heard. Uh, now, look, I said from early on, I found it curious that Democrats, like when Trump was refusing to release his tax returns, I found it curious that like that was the thing that Democrats latched onto to be like, oh, how terrible Trump is. Because, so what were we going to find? Okay, he releases his tax returns and we find out he pays like no tax. Well, his supporters are all going to say, mm-hmm. I wish I would like Donald Trump and I paid no tax. I mean, that's what, so you think it's like a, a death blow to him. We found out Mitt Romney paid 14% in taxes when he made like $14 million. And people were like, yep. Anyway, what's for dinner? So look, it, it's fucked up. Like if you pay a super low tax rate and you're super rich, we do need to fix the tax system and make it so that of course these people should pay a higher rate than fucking construction workers and accountants and teachers and stuff. No, I'm not denying that. Nobody's denying that. And I would make that argument till I'm blue in the face. But my point is the idea that like, you know, you release it and no, oh, Trump implodes. Like that's what the Democrats thought. Like, oh, you release it and then it's over. And then, you know, Hillary Clinton would cakewalk to the election and that's it. But no, he already gave you so much other ammunition that you're not even using. Like when he said, we have to take out their families. We have to take out their families. So kill civilians on purpose. He said, wages are too high. Like you could have used these arguments. That would have landed way more than the fucking, oh, his tax returns. So I never understood why they were like all in on the tax returns to begin with. Like Trump should have released them, of course. But I never understood the, the liberal obsession with like, oh, once we get those tax returns, obviously he like implodes and he concedes the election or something. And so we already got the 1995 tax returns, by the way. We had one year, 95. And so to me, the big story from that was he lost nearly a billion dollars. I think it was $990 million on his shitty airline. <laughs> he lost almost a billion dollars. And what did the Democrats do? Instead of arguing... That, like, oh, you say you need to be president, you should be president because you say you're one of the best businessmen ever, one of the most successful businessmen, tremendous businessmen ever. Dude, you're, you may be the worst businessman ever. You almost lost a billion dollars in one year. Who does that? That's, I couldn't do that if I fucking tried. That's, that's the worst business eye and business acumen I've ever seen. So that was the story, but what did the Democrats do? No, they focused on, he didn't pay any taxes. No, the, the bigger story is the loss of the money. He didn't pay any taxes because he lost more money than anybody I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> but so they focus on the wrong thing. They said he didn't pay taxes for years and years and years. And again, his followers went, I wish I didn't pay taxes for years and years. So anyway, the point I'm trying to get out at here is the thing that the partisan the things that the partisan democrats try to use as like isn't this outrageous is always not outrageous like they they focus on the things that they shouldn't be focusing on there's a million things trump has given us where we could hammer it until the fucking cows come home and say this is why he's el eliminated and shouldn't be president look at this thing he favors look at that thing he favors but no like trump recently allowed uh, coal companies to pollute waterways he signed an executive order that's like i am pro pollution and let's fucking poison people in west virginia that was basically the thing was there a unified democratic uh you know opposition to that and were they all flooding the talk shows and saying this is agreed this is unbelievable everybody's got to be against this See, he's just bought by the coal companies look at what he's doing here this is mental nope there's just Anyway, do we have his tax returns yet? So the Democratic meter is just off. They don't know how to attack. They don't know when to attack. They don't know what to attack. Because it's just this outrage culture. Let me press the outrage button, even when it's something that people could look at and go, meh, whatever. So uh, the 95 tax returns were pretty, uh, were a bigger story, but they focused on the wrong thing. So now Rachel Maddow gets her hands on the 2005 tax returns. She does this long, I, so I watched some of it. She does this long 25-minute Rachel Maddow-style intro where it's basically fucking word salad. 
where, you know, this is why presidents need to release their tax returns, and this is how important it is, and it shows you how corrupt they could be and the financial dealings they're involved with. <laughs> right, that's, okay, all true, but you took fucking 25 minutes to state the most obvious thing ever, which I could have stated in, like, two seconds. So already, you already lost me, I'm already pissed. She goes to the first commercial break without actually mentioning the content of the story. She comes back from the break. We've attained Trump's 2005 tax returns. He made $150 million and paid $38 million in taxes. And they got nothing else. They had two pages and that was it. That's all the information. You were just trolled and it worked. David K. Johnston, the journalist who focuses on economic issues, was the one who got the tax returns. How did he get the tax returns? It was in his mailbox one morning. He woke up, went to his mailbox, opened it. There's Trump's 2005 tax returns. Two pages. And uh, the numbers were, he made 150, paid 38 million in taxes. I have no doubt either Trump himself ordered it or people close to him in his business or in the administration ordered it to, to send that to David K. Johnson because they knew about David K. Johnson. He, he's covered Trump in detail in the past. And they said, well, if you give it to him, he'll give it to somebody else and it'll become a big story. And that's what they did. And isn't it weird? As Trump care or Ryan care, the Obamacare replacement bill is imploding and it doesn't have a lot of support. And the CBO report comes out and it details... Hey, look, it's fucking gonna... 52 million people are gonna be uninsured by the year 2026. $880 billion is gonna be cut from Medicaid. You know, uh, the, the price for healthcare for a 64-year-old who makes $25,000 a year went from about $1,700 a year to $15,000 a year. As all these facts come out about how this is the worst fucking bill ever... All of a sudden, oh, look, Trump's tax returns. And oh, it's a good year. And oh, let's have a big story, big story. Oh, my God, look. See, Trump is a, Trump paid a, a still too low of a tax rate, but he paid 25%, which was more than fucking Mitt Romney. Um, so Trump paid that much in taxes, and uh, he made this much. And the White House, when they were, right before Rachel Maddow uh, did the story, the White House released a statement, and they gave the numbers. They were like, yeah, he, he made 150 and paid $38 million. You were trolled and it worked. Him or his people planted that and you ran with the story and acted like it was this big deal and you got nothing. You don't have anything about business ties and, hey, you know, he was directly involved with this fucking Russian oligarch or look at the details of the deals he made with Saudi Arabia. Trump registered eight new businesses in Saudi Arabia during the fucking campaign. That's a bigger story than this fucking tax return, which tells us nothing and was probably Trump's best year, which is why he released it. So you get to run it like it's a big deal. And he goes, see, I told you nothing was in there. I told you there's no problem with my tax returns. This is what happens when you have rank partisan media that doesn't actually care about the issues. <laughs> and then even, even Rachel Maddow's most loyal fans turned on her. And there were memes just fucking mocking the shit out of her. You trolled us all, and you got trolled, you got played. You you got ratings, congratulations, but it was fake. You play, do this big thing, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna cover the tax returns, and then there's nothing in there, and then now people go, it's Boy Who Cried Wolf. So now next time you have an actual argument against actual shit he did wrong, people are gonna roll their fucking eyes. Congratulations. This is... The media is so bad that I, I'm continually shocked by it. I'm amazed by it, and I fucking follow this stuff every single day. Look, I'm not saying that the numbers weren't a story. Of course it's a story. But for you to make it about a big thing, oh my god, the tax returns. And by the way, they're actually pretty normal, and it's probably his best year, and there's nothing to see here. Okay, the news is the shit where there's something to see. Like, I get it. You could say, oh, that that's like a footnote in a show. We got one year of his tax returns, and this, are, these, this is better than we expected for this one year. Let's trace the source of it, and you'll probably find it with somebody close to him. It's a mention, but it ain't a fucking full show where you blow it up like it's bigger than it is. Because there's a million other things he's actually doing that are screwing people over, and you basically did a giant infomercial for him, where now he gets to come out the next day and say, I'm tremendous, believe me, let me just tell you, look at these numbers, I'm, I'm successful, and I pay my taxes, oh! Isn't this amazing? Isn't Trump great? And by the way, now we're not talking about the disaster that is the healthcare plan that would fuck over the country even more than it is right now. 